Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Modassi Rugewa. Let's get started. Earlier this week, the Chinese government imposed a ban on its younger citizens aged 18 and under, restricting their gaming time to one hour from 8 to 9 p.m. on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and also on public holidays. The Chinese government has described this as an effort to prevent video game addiction in children, labeling video games as an opium of the mind which distracts young people from school and family responsibilities. This prompted us to look into video game addiction in order to understand the condition more. Based on our findings, video game addiction, also known as gaming disorder, can be said to be a condition where one can't stop gaming to the point where it causes significant impairment to one's ability to function well in other aspects of life such as work, study, and relationship with friends and family. You can tell if you or someone you care about is becoming addicted to gaming if they are slowly becoming isolated from family and friends and would rather play a video game than take part in activities they used to love. Such persons could also become cranky, get very upset when they are not gaming, have low energy and feel fatigued easily due to not eating well or getting enough sleep. They also have their productivity in school or work decline considerably. It is not all doom and gloom though, as just with other addictions, gaming addiction can also be reversed and managed. All one needs to do is try to keep the time spent on gaming to the minimum by making sure to make time for other activities and other aspects of life, such as making time for friends and family, exercising regularly, doing chores on time, eating on time, and making sure to get enough sleep and adequate nutrition. Basically, as long as gaming doesn't interfere with the other things you are supposed to do, you will be fine. So for our question of the week, what measures are you putting in place to make sure gaming doesn't take up most of your time? Also, based on all that has been said, do you think you are becoming addicted to gaming? Please share your response below. Remember, leaving thoughtful comments on our weekly questions qualifies you for our monthly $20 gift card giveaway. And now, we move on to last week's giveaway winners. Congratulations to Suxmena, Namdis, Sonjak, Protat EXO and VTuber. For the first time giveaway winners on this channel, please use the link in the description below to sign up to our mailing list so we can use it to verify and send you your key. For our already verified subscribers, we will reach out to you once your keys have been sent. Dying Light 2 special giveaway is still live, so check it out if you haven't already. Up next are this week's giveaway games. Remember, to enter for this giveaway, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and leave a comment with the name of your game of choice in the preferred order. Metro Exodus is a story-driven first-person shooter that blends elements of stealth and survival horror with a day-night cycle and dynamic weather system. Developed by 4A Games as the third game in the Metro series, you continue Artyom's story as he and his allies flee the Metro aboard a steam locomotive called the Aurora in an epic continent-spanning journey across post-apocalyptic Russia while facing off against mutants and human foes all through an entire in-game year featuring all seasons. The second game on our list is Neon Abyss. A roguelike action platformer with run and gun action, where humans' obsessions with nightclubs, bitcoins, fast foods, and the like have been transformed into new gods. You play as a member of a task force set up by Aedes to infiltrate the abyss and defeat these new gods. You will die a lot in this game, but you will return even more powerful than before. Steve Jackson's Sorcery, the complete edition is a single-player four-part adventure gamebook series set in a fictional planet of Titan where an evil archmage has stolen the crown of kings, a powerful artifact which grants him the magical powers needed to invade surrounding regions. You play as a lone hero who has to traverse treacherous regions where every decision and choices are yours to make. You face off against monsters, traps, swindlers and more all in an effort to reclaim the crown of kings and avert the impending invasion. Fourth on our list is Fun with Ragdolls, a fun and highly rated indie sandbox game that basically lets you have fun with ragdolls. 
You can explore worlds created by other players or play mini games or even create your own world, choosing from a long list of items and AI ragdoll variants to use in populating your world. Then flop around and enjoy everything you love about ragdolls. Lastly, we have Narita Boy, a 2D action adventure with Metroidvania elements. Following the story of a genius creator of a video game whose memory mysteriously gets deleted after the digital world he created connects with reality. You play as a legendary hero trapped within this digital kingdom as you fight to save it from the corrupt and tainted enemies known as the Stallions with the aid of the Techno Sword and abilities you gain throughout the game. That's it for this week guys, thanks so much for sticking around, we really appreciate your awesome comments and we'll see you in the next video. Happy gaming!